Good morning children, Rohana ma'am here today for the fourth standard. Today I am taking English, the same lesson, uh, lesson number uh, sixth, uh, letter to the daughter. I had finished the words meaning plus I had finished the question answers with you all. So today on page number 49, uh, I have given you all as homework, those who, children who have the book can uh, see page number 49 and do it in the textbook, do the homework in the textbook. So in that, I'll just read it out to you so you can hear my audio, you can hear, see the video and hear the audio and do the homework on the textbook. On page number 49 children, we have prefixes. We have prefixes. So you have to use the word DIS as a prefix. It is used to show negative or an opposite. Okay. DIS. So there are certain, uh, there are around six words, children, in front of what you have to add the word DIS. So that's called a prefix. You're fixing the word before. Means it's, you're fixing the word beforehand. When you say suffix, it comes after the word. So suffix is after, prefix is before. Now, first, like we use the word dis plus regard. So we get the word disregard. Second word is children, listen carefully. You can listen to Mrs. Audio and also do your homework. I'm repeating it once again. Disadvantage. It becomes, the whole word becomes disadvantage. You're only adding D-I-S to the word, to the front of the word. Then the second one children, disagree. Second word is disagree. Third word is disappear. You are only adding DIS to the front of the words given for your homework. Then the fourth one is dislike. Dislike. Fifth one is disconnection. Disconnection. Sixth one is discontinue. Sixth one is discontinue. So you do these, you only have to add the prefix of DIS to these words and, f and make the full word. Now coming to the third main uh, in that, in page number, 14, uh, page number 49, construct a story from the outlines given below and give it a suitable title. Boys playing by a riverside, dash a boy falls into the river, dash boys helpless, dash none of them new to sim, dash a villager comes in the boy's help and saves a drowning boy. So you have to fill in words over there. <coughs> Just fill in words and um, fill up the blanks. So, for example, I'll give you the first one. Boy is playing by a reverse side. Suddenly, a boy falls into the river. Suddenly, the first fill up. Suddenly, a boy falls into the river. All the, the boys are helpless. The second fill up goes, the boys are helpless since... The third fill up, since none of them knew to swim, suddenly a villager comes to the boy's help and saves the drowning boy. Suddenly a villager comes to the boy's help and saves the drowning boy. Children, listen to Mrs. Audio and write, fill up the blanks. The first one is, a boy is playing by the riverside. Suddenly a boy falls into the river. The boys are all helpless since none of them knew to swim. Then the fourth fill up the blank. Suddenly a villager comes to the boy's help and saves the drowning boy. Fine children. This is your third main. I have just given it to you aud or by audio. You just have to listen to my audio, audio and fill it up. Then the fourth main. Correct the following sent statements and rewrite them in your notebook. Eklavia was a king. Was Eklavia a king, children? No. Eklavia was a small uh, boy who lived in the forest with his parents and he wanted to learn archery. So go back to the lesson, check the correct sentence who Eklavia was and write the correct sentence over there. This page number 49 is for you to do homework on your own in the textbook. Dronacharya was the prince of Hastinapura. Even this is not correct, you have to rewrite the correct sentences. Dronacharya was the teacher for the princes of Hastinapura. He was not a prince of Hastinapura. Okay. Eklavya made the day clay model of his mother. 
this sentence again is wrong eklavya made a clay model of his teacher dronacharya okay dronacharya agreed to teach eklavya the sentence again is wrong eklavya wanted to learn archery but dronacharya refused to teach him okay so th these four sentences are all wrong children you have to go back to your text to the lesson check the lesson from there and write the correct sentence okay so i have given you already homework page number 49 do it in the textbook itself you don't have to do it in your class work your class work note should only have your words meaning and your question answers so do this now next i come to this lesson is the same lesson number 6 and it's the poem in that lesson so i'll just read out the poem to you and then you'll have to do whatever homework is given on the board i'll read out the poem to you children okay it is it goes as give it our all give it our all by anonymous anonymous means children we don't know who the poet is or somebody has written a poem and the name of the poem is give it our all so i'll just read out the poem to you and i'll explain it to you fine let's never give in to complaints nor fear with our eyes on our goals the right direction we steer so what what is the po uh, this unknown poet saying we should never give in we should never give in when we are scared we should not be we should not be scared of trying out new things we should not complain about new things we should never give in complaints and fear should never take over you if they take over you children you become very scared of things to do you always will, will be complaining in life like i don't have this i don't have that so you should never ever allow complaints and fear to take over you with the eyes on our goals the right di direction we steer now if i ask all of you all if i ask the children uh, what do you want to become when you grow big many will say some will say engineer some will say doctor some will say they want to be an actor actresses they want to be a football player you have many goals set in your head how do you reach that goal you reach that goal when you are uh, when you have focused on it when you have focused on achieving something you will always try to reach that goal so no matter the circumstances with great effort we should always try we must pick ourselves up when we get bruised and we cry so whatever the poet says like whatever the circumstances whether you are you have fallen down whether you are hurt whether you are wounded you should always give it a try see children it was small cut or something you you should not sit and cry the whole day okay my fingers cut my hand is paining these are all small small issues you should not allow that to override what you want to do so don't get carried away with small issues that's what the poet wants to say if you have a focused goal in life you will overcome all these issues to reach that goal opportunities are plentiful let's just open our eyes our dreams we shall nurture as we stare to the skies so opportunities children there are a lot of opportunities in today's world if you can't do this you can do this if you cannot do that also you can do something else there are opportunities continue different type of opportunities come up so you have to just keep your eyes open and grab this opportunity when it is correct time you have to grab it so then only you can dream of reaching the skies the trick is to create value that's honest and real by following our passions in in our hearts we shall feel so whatever passion we have in our heart whatever we have goals that we dream of we want to become this you have to follow it with passionate passionate enthusiasm you have to go for it you like you want to become a doctor you have to really work hard for it steady crack exams you have to be on the move full you have to be literally working hard so that you become a qualified a very well known doctors you have to keep on studying so this is to and you have to be very honest and real in this you cannot cheat and become a doctor 
okay when you want to reach reach your goals you have to be very honest and you have to follow your heart with full passion if we never hold back and just give it our all no challenge or obstacle shall ever be tall so what the poet says like we should not hold back because of small issues when we when we pull ourselves back like we can't do it we cannot do it you'll always fall back you will not give it a try so the poet says you should not feel a challenge or an obstacle you should always try to reach over reach it you should always try to go forward and do what is required so this is children give it our all it is there in your book it's on page number 53 I want you all to learn and write eight lines of this poem learn it by heart R- write eight lines learn it by heart and write eight lines of this poem then you have to write the words meaning from the textbook on page number 54 in the class work note when you turn your book you have your words meaning over here you have to write these words meaning in your class work note against the poem write the n- name of the poem and uh, write eight lines of the poem first name of the poem write eight lines of the poem then you have to write the words and meanings that are given on your page number 54 in your textbook so i'll just read the words meaning with you once again and then this will be your basically homework that you have to do in your house circumstances means the conditions in which a certain action takes place circumstances now like children all know this is covid covid time so what are this what is the circumstances all over what is the situation all over everybody like if we have been cautious you use a mask you wash your hands so you uh, the conditions that are prevailing the covid conditions that are prevailing all around us we are we are taking action to avoid it spreading more so these circumstances so the condition in which a certain action takes place so this situation is called a circumstances that we are living in so we find different the actions that take place in these situations direction direction means your path or your way or road or anything then steer steer means to move children you have seen the pilot pilot steers the plane in in the skies or a captain steers the ship on the seas so these are what they fly fly or they help the sh- uh, ship to move in the waterways steer means move nurture protect and grow nurture means to protect and grow obstacle something that stops the progress obstacle means something that stops progress bruised bruised means getting hurt passion means a strong liking you have a passionate uh, approach to your studies you will always always be the topmost in the class you will always win in all situations given given means to surrender okay so these words meaning children please write it down in your class work note take a picture and uh, send it back to rohana ma'am in my whatsapp number i'll get back to you after checking what is right and what is wrong so do these two t- homework for your fourth standard children and uh, send it uh, take a picture and send it to miss on the whatsapp class fine okay thank you